Take a look back at the Dolphins' historical Week 1 victory against the Tennessee Titans. This is your Dolphins Daily, presented by Ticketmaster. It was an unexpected way to open the season, but after seven hours of play and weather delays, the Dolphins found a way to win 27-20 at home. Sunday's contest became the longest game in NFL history since the 1970 merger. Twice, the Dolphins had to head back into the locker room, but they didn't let it affect their momentum. After the game, quarterback Ryan Tannehill spoke about the team's ability to fight through the adversity. Really proud of our guys, the way we responded, uh, not only with the delays, but in the game as well. And guys just kept fighting, uh, responding, and, uh, and stuck together you know, through the, through the thick and thin of it, and we found a way to come out on top. Aside from the weather, Miami's on-field play didn't go unnoticed. Tannehill finished the day off 20 of 28 for 230 yards and two touchdowns, both to wide receiver Kenny Stills, one for 10 yards and another for 75. Defensively, the Dolphins showed up to play with many big moments, including safety Rashad Jones coming up with two interceptions. The Pro Bowl safety credits his teammates for his impactful plays. The explosive plays also came from the special teams unit with a 102-yard kickoff return by Jakeem Grant, which was the second longest in franchise history. All three phases contributed to the Dolphins' first win of the 2018 season, and the guys will look to carry it over to week two against the Jets. A credit to the fans who stuck around to watch the Dolphins close out an important win at Hard Rock Stadium. So what are your thoughts on the Dolphins' first win of the season? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you next time right here on Dolphins Daily, presented by Ticketmaster.